Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank y'all so much again for watching today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you another tutorial on something that you can make for free on Canva and then sell on Etsy as a digital product slash printable, whatever you want to call it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an undated um, calendar. So I've never made one of these two page ones, but if you just want to make a really quick one like this one, or maybe a really quick one like this five by seven blank monthly calendar, I am going to show y'all how to do that in Canva for free. You do not need Canva Pro. However, if you're interested in getting Canva Pro, you can check the link in my description box as I do have a 30 day free trial for those of you who are interested in that. Um, Anyways, if you guys like today's video, then don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and leave any questions you have in the comment section below as I will be doing my best to get back with you on any questions that you may have about this tutorial or any um, designs that you would like to see me make on Canva or with other programs that you can sell on Etsy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this monthly calendar. So um, this is a five by seven monthly calendar. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make um, just a regular eight and a half by 11 letter sized calendar, um, but it's gonna be undated kind of like this. So there's actually a couple of different ways to do it. Um, let's go ahead and go to Canva. And since we're gonna do the letter size document, then we'll go to create a design custom size, change pixels to inches, and let's type in eight and a half by 11. So now we are at our blank screen. So in order to make this calendar like this with kind of the grid on it, you would think Canva would have an option for a grid. However, I have been looking at Canva forever. I've been using Canva forever and they do not have like a calendar grid that I'm aware of. Um, if you type in calendar, stuff like this comes up. If you type in, um, let's see, grid, then it's just like the picture grids. I've pretty much typed in anything and everything and they don't really have that unless you go to the templates and find a calendar. But if you do it this way, um, you can't resell this, um, even if you change the fonts and stuff, because it's something that Canva made. So we're going to start from scratch. So go over to elements and let's find the line. So if you've seen any of my other videos, um, any of the other tutorials I've created on Canva, I don't like this first line because you can't make it thinner or thicker. So we're going to go down to this one and we're going to make it super thin like this. So if you drag it out, that's a pretty thick line, but we don't want it that thick. I like to make my lines as thin as possible. I just think it looks better. So we'll make it really thin and then I'm going to change it to black. So once I've changed it to black, then I'm going to zoom in on the MacBook. It's command and then the plus button. Um, for those of you Windows users, I'm sorry. I don't know the shortcuts. Um, I'm pretty sure you would probably hit control plus, but I could be wrong. Um, anyways, so we will make our grid. So I like to go ahead and make sure that the top line right here is centered within the pink square. So I will put it right here. And I'm not going to go all the way up because I do want to put some font up here that says like um, monthly calendar, month of, year of, whatever. So I'm going to start it a little further down. I'm going to start it about right here. And let's see, this one, it's got seven, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, seven squares across, and then one, two, three, four, five squares down. Pretty much all of these have that. So let's make, let's bring this out wide. I'm going to go ahead and make this line 
the width of the pink square that shows the alignment. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to basically make the five tiles going down for each of the five weeks of the month. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hit duplicate and drag them down. And then let's see, one, two, three, I'm going to have to do it another time or two. So let's figure this out. What is this doing? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Perfect. So these are not perfectly spaced out in order to space them out select them all, go to position, hit tidy up, and now we're good. So now comes the sides right here and then the seven days of the week. So the only thing I don't like about making um, a calendar, any sort of calendar slash grid this way is that the lines don't perfectly line up at the corner when you go this route. Maybe it's because I do the lines very thin and if you were to do the lines thicker, then it would line up at the corners. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one of the lines and I'm going to turn it around so that it is at 90 degrees straight up and down. So now I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to zoom in a little so I can drag it out to reach the bottom. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So if you zoom in really close, you will see that in this corner right here, the lines aren't perfectly touching. And if you were to like drag it out any further, then that's what would happen. If you were to drag it up any further, then the same thing would happen. So I'm not a huge fan of this. Like I said, if you made the lines a little thicker, then maybe it wouldn't happen, but I just like my lines super thin, super crisp. So that's just a personal preference. You can always play around with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this line as well, and I'm gonna drag it over. Okay, so Here's kind of the base of it. So what I'm gonna do now is just duplicate these lines so that I create seven little columns for each day of the week. So let's see, let me duplicate these. I just scoop them over. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, perfect. So. As you can see, these are not perfectly spaced out, so we're gonna do the same thing. But instead of selecting the entire grid, we're going to select one of these lines, and then all you need to do is hit Shift, and then click on the rest of these lines. Actually, let's do that one too. Okay, so select all of these lines. Um, all of the vertical lines and you'll go to position, tidy up, and there we go. So let's see, let's zoom out a little bit. And here is, you know, in a nutshell, the monthly calendar. Of course, this is really plain. I wouldn't keep it like this. And um, just for my preference, I don't like the lines black. I like them kind of a soft gray. So I'm gonna change them all to gray. I think that looks a lot better. And let's see, what do some of these calendars say? So let's see, I think some of these say monthly. Well, that one says weekly because that's a weekly planner, um, but like a blank monthly calendar. So let's look at this one. This one's really cute. That's a nice listing photo right there. So. This one says something about the month, but it's covered. So, so I'm just going to put monthly 
calendar. So all I did to get this text box was go to text and add a heading. And let's give it a cute little script font. So I have these fonts uploaded. You will not see these in your Canva, even if you have Canva Pro, because I bought these from Creative Market and uploaded them. Well, most of them, some of them I didn't, but let's pick, let's pick this one. And let's change all the letters to lowercase. So that's gonna be a lowercase M and a lowercase C. And I don't like the color, so let's change it to, let's change it to this color. There we go. All right, so monthly calendar, and you can move it. I like to always keep it within the pink lines right here, just to make sure that everything is evenly spaced out. And honestly, I'm actually gonna make this just a smidge bigger because I want these lines to fit within the pink square, so Let's see, I'm gonna select this and then hold the rest of these horizontal lines down with the shift button and then position, tidy up. And then I'm going to zoom in just a little and make these lines bigger. I'm actually gonna delete these because I feel like it's easier to just duplicate this one so let's duplicate this one and make a couple more lines let's see two three all right so then let's do shift and those three and then move these over and now we've got one two three four five six seven so let's hold the shift key down, select all of these vertical lines, position, tidy up, boom, there we go. So now it's much bigger. We've got monthly calendar up here. Let's make this bigger. Actually. Okay, so then let's duplicate this and we will do month of and let's duplicate this and then put year so we can reuse this year after year or you can just use this to keep up with it okay so let's make sure that the year is set up with the month um i'm gonna change the font of these because i think it looks better to have kind of a Mix. I like to use, let's see, Railway. Railway is a very popular font. So let's go to Railway Thin and let's change this one to Railway Thin. And we're going to make it smaller. Let's go to, actually, we could probably go smaller than that. There we go. All right, 18. And then we'll do 18 for this one. And we'll move it around a little bit. And then let's move this one around a little bit too. Okay, so month of. Okay, so now I'm just going to duplicate this line. And I'm going to zoom in and make it shorter so that it fits next to month of and year of let's see okay so month of and year of okay let's scoot this a little further over. Okay. So 
here is just a very basic monthly calendar. If you want to change the color of everything, you can change the color of everything. You can make it like this and then add some clip art to it, or you can just keep it plain black and white. Um, I wouldn't sell this one because I don't really like this one too much, but if you're just looking for something really quick that does sell on Etsy um, under something like undated calendar printable, then this is definitely something that could possibly work. So if you liked this tutorial, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and leave any comments you have in the comment section below. Um, I will be coming out with another tutorial in a few days, so be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, I hope y'all have a great rest of your week and I'll see y'all again soon.